So last time we found out that the posterior distribution is distributed as a beta distribution, just like the prior was, except that we have uh, new parameters for the posterior beta. And so let's just sit back and reflect on the fact that, let me write out Bayes' rule again, post posterior is proportional to the likelihood times the prior. And this was a Bernoulli likelihood because that's the data we had. And we had a beta prior over our parameter and we ended up with a beta posterior. And the fact that we start with a prior and we end up with the same distribution in the posterior, well, this is called conjugacy. We say that the Bernoulli and the beta are conjugates and that the Beta is a conjugate prior with respect to the Bernoulli likelihood because it ends up that the beta is the posterior distribution as well. So I, I promised that we would talk about the map, the maximum a posterior value of mu. And so that's just the argmax of our new posterior. And so that's the argmax of the beta of n1 plus alpha n0 plus beta. And from statistics, we can just recall the formula for the mode of a beta distribution, which is x minus 1 over x plus y minus 2. And so we can really just plug in. Um, and so we can say that the map, remember this is our value of mu. This is equal to n1 plus alpha over n1 plus alpha plus n0 plus beta minus 2. And so we can compare this to our original prior. So let's compare to the prior. Compare to prior. Beta distribution. Well, at that time we would have just said, if we were looking at the mode, we would have just said mu is equal to alpha minus one over alpha plus beta minus two. And when you compare these, you can see that Clearly, we've learned from our data. We're factoring in the number of ones we have. We're factoring in the number of zeros we saw in our Bernoulli coin flips. Um, so we're clearly learning, but we're, and the advantage of the Bayesian approach is that you also are still grounded in some sense by your prior. You see these alphas and betas popping up. And so that's why the map is a combination of the likelihood and the prior versus the maximum likelihood estimate which would just look at this likelihood term and would try to maximize, that would just try to maximize the probability of the data given the param. And so again, just to reiterate, in the Bayesian approach, we get the advantage of having this prior.